Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and we're here at the Liebherr press conference and we're going super electric today because there are lots of electric machines here and there's a power pack that's going to help power them all. Johannes, you are the first person I'm talking to today and we're talking about the 916E folks, all electric, but we see the UMS logo as well. You've been working in the Netherlands where they've got a very restrictive uh, industry and UMS are helping you with this machine to make it all electric, but able to work full shift. And it's a big machine. What's the capacity of this? The capacity of this is 260 kilowatt hours. Right, and what's the, the machine in size itself, the 916? What, what tonnage is the machine? The tonnage of the machine, it's because of the battery package, approximately two tons more than the normal. Fantastic. So it's about going to be about 18 then, is it? Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. So first of all, people, let's go and reveal the size of this big battery. We've literally got a whole mechanism here where you can lift it out, can't you? You get it. Yeah. We have here a big battery package with 130 kilowatt hours, and this is a, repla a replaceable one. You can see up to there, there's the interlock. You have to push it out, yep. and then you can lift it up and put another one there. So literally, you can take another battery to the job site where you're working, folks, and replace that straight away. This one can then be shifted out to be plugged in, or if you're just working those full shift, done overnight on cheaper electricity. Right, we've got some big batteries. Let's go and have a look a bit further around to see some of the workings, because a big battery needs some big infrastructure at the back so that we can get it working, folks. So follow me around here. So what we see around here, folks, is all of the different elements that are needed and required in something like this. So we, we basically see the fundamentals of all the charging and all of the the motor, which is inside there as well. Tell us a little about it. Yeah, here you can see the electrified motor. Yep. We replaced the diesel engine, the normal. And here on this side, one, two, and in front of the counterweight, if you look yep. through there, you see also three batteries. Three more batteries. Three more batteries with the capacity of the another 130 kilowatt hours. Another 130 watt kilowatt hours. What type of shift can this do with all of these batteries? In the Netherlands, we have these machines running and we have the running time of seven to nine hours. Fantastic, seven to nine hours, folks. And of course, the biggest thing about a machine like this is it's a wheeled machine. Come over here, yes. So the most important thing is utilizing a machine like this on the job site. You can travel from site to yeah. site. You can also, in Europe, use a towed trailer yeah. to actually help take some of the bits you need with um, the, to, to replace the battery. So how does the battery get lifted out? What, what would you need to lift it out? You have to um, maybe a wheel loader. Yeah. It's easy. Well, and we've got an electric one yeah. of those coming up, folks. Yeah. Some, some other machine, we have yeah. to lift it out, yeah. So we've got all of the solutions here. This is actually working. This is the most important thing yeah. here actually working in the Netherlands. People are using this. You've got low emission zones. You're able to work. And also, the thing about it is it's not on now, folks, but it's quieter, yeah, isn't it? For sure. And it's when so you're quiet. working in inner city environments, that's another big plus, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. You can ask our driver if, the, if, you, if you put on the machine, you can't hear anything. Fantastic. You, you don't recognize that machine is running at the time. Well, I'll be getting the key shortly, folks, and we'll test that out and see when I turn it on and there's no noise. So great to see here again, working in this environment, a big excavator, 18 tons because of the, the weight of the battery, need less of a counterweight there yeah. because you've got the battery as well. And it's all working and therefore you can go onto the machine configurator <laughs> that you just launched as well and get one of these uh, ready to go, can't you? And the machine configurator isn't there, but you have <laughs> to, you, yeah, you have to send an inquiry and yeah, then we will work on it. Yeah. And those team will get that sorted out. And, you know, we've certainly got full charge and full speed ahead here with the wheel loader from Lima. Cheers. Thank you. So one electric to another electric as we come here to meet Mario, the electric wheel loader here. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you too. This is a new product again from Liebherr that is fully electric. So tell yeah. us about the machine we've got there. First of all, what is it called? And then what's the capacity? Mm. It's called L507E. Yep. E for electric, of course. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, but it's the, as you all know, the Canon L507 stereo. It's the same platform, the yep. same the same basis, and uh, it has a battery with uh, 32 kilowatts inside. Okay. Kilowatt hours inside. So when we talk about electric, everybody wants to know how long will the battery last in a, in a, in a normal environment. But obviously with a wheel loader like this, you're going to be running around, but also you're going to be parking it up and plugging yeah. it in, aren't you? So Quite it's, easy. But what is that sort of working hours capacity in general, general terms? Up to eight hours. Right. So it's, it's not so easy. Yeah, uh, as you all know, we have different yeah, applications, yeah, yeah, yeah. heavier, uh, lighter applications, yeah. but maximum eight hours. But of course, it depends on the on what the job on, site on is. The job. Yeah. And of course, this is you know using the proven Lieber yeah. frame of of a, a, a product you've had for some time now. But it's electric, so let's go and have a look at what is the actual difference because there is no diesel engine in this one, folks. No. And while we come round here, we can see that there isn't anything to look at from a diesel engine perspective. Mm. What have we got here? Where are all the different key components that we have and that would have replaced where the engine would normally have been? So you can see, of course, you can see the battery. Yep. Here, one, there's yep. one battery mounted, 32 kilowatts. Yep. There's also the possibility to mount the second one. Right. Yeah. That's so, so I can specify an additional yeah. battery yeah. system on that. Same one. size. Yeah. yeah. So then you have uh, 64 kilowatt. Right. And yeah. You can you can use the machine uh, for double the time. Exactly, and also yeah. you've got that extra counterweight in the machine yeah. as well. So for heavier sort of appli yeah. applications, hungry applications, as such, that will work well. And so fundamentally, folks, this is very very clean in the back yeah. here. You know, all of your daily checks and all your fluids and stuff again from ground level, which yeah. is really important, yeah. isn't it? So. Let's walk a little bit further around uh, the machine here. Big, spacious cab, isn't there, in this machine, Mario? It's the cabin of 507, 509, 514, 518. So a lot of space uh, inside the cabin. Uh, we have a, a touch display inside of right. this machine, of course. So you can you can check all the data. You can uh, yeah, quite easily work on the touch display. Yeah. The lever is mounted on the seat, so right. very, okay. very comfortable. And air condition, you can have air condition as well, yeah, as an option, but you can have it. Fantastic. So we are here having this electric journey with Liebherr uh, today. So it's time to go, I'm afraid, Mario, to my next electric adventure. Mm. See you later. Yeah. Cheers. Bye bye. <laughs> Of course, folks, if you've got electric equipment, sometimes you need electric power, don't you, Fabian? And this is the, the electric Lidoro power pack that Libre brought in. And what's good about this power pack is it's towable. And also there's a modularization element to it as well, folks. So you can have a number of these on the job site. First of all, tell us a little bit about it. What's the capacity and why have you designed this as, uh, you know, Liebherr to support the rest of the products? Okay, um, yes, uh, the capacity of this energy storage or the power pack is uh, 60 kilowatt hours. We uh, deliver this next year. We start in the service production with next year with the LPO 100. This uh, start with 100 kilowatt hours. You can see here we have connected these two cranes here. That's the big crane here, the EATC, and the other crane is the MK crane connected here with the Liduro power port. And with the Vidu Low power port, we will replace the diesel generators of the, of the construction sites and deliver the green energy to the construction site. And I think that's really important, folks, because, you know, the electric cranes, very, very electric power hungry, aren't they, when they need the power? But they're not moving all the time. But again, we've got two other electric machines here, electric wheel loader and the electric uh, wheeled excavator, which again could do with a bit of an electric top up if you're not in the mains electricity space. So the main thing about this, though, is this is another connected asset from Liebherr and it's connected, folks, to something I'm going to show you right now. With that able assistant behind me, we've got a new setup here, which is all the app, which can tell us all the information about this particular power pack and the battery packs that you've got all over, you know, the, the sites and all over the world, yes. you know. So again, we've got an app for that as such. Here we've got the iPad version, and of course you can have it on your mobile phone as well. So the biggest thing about this is, is about supporting the product line, isn't it, for Liebherr? And so, you know, the capacity and the output is important. So how much output can we get, you know, from, from uh, into the cranes? Uh, the maximum output is by 100 kilowatt hours for the constant power, and the yep. peak power is by 150 kilowatt hours. 
And with 150 kilowatt hours, we can uh, deliver the power to the different cranes or different uh, consumers on the construction site. And of course, folks, it's not just the cranes as well. It's not just the wheel loaders, but also think about this in terms of welfare units and other elements on the job site that need electricity because we've got a really quiet little pack here. Yes. And we, don't, we haven't got a diesel engine, but we can actually look at how we do the job sites of the future and also how welfare units with solar power can even charge it up for us when it's not used. So great to see you, Fabian. Thanks very Thank much you. for your time. Thank you. So I'm here with Julian, and Julian, you've got a new crane, which is right behind us, which is powered by electricity coming from the Liebherr brand new electric power pack right here on the your job site for this job. Tell me, what's the capacity of this crane and, and why is it an important new addition to the range? With here, our LTC 1050, dash 3.1 electric that means it's a 50 tall screen yep so we have 50 tons maximum load capacity with a 36 boom right um, meter boom and uh, we have here that crane plugged in in our Liduro power pop that means the crane the super structure mode works electric full electric and it's also possible to use that crane uh, in a standard version uh, with the also the combustion engine so yep. the diesel engine so if you have to work uh, that you have to be zero emission, you use the electric plug yep. and for your whole work, the whole day through uh, and also driving on street, you do use the diesel engine and this is also uh, very good uh, in economics with uh, if you operate the diesel engine with HVO and we do that on our cranes. Yep, yep. So you have this both conditions all at one time with the HVO on the diesel engine and the street uh, driving and also the superstructure mode in an electric version. And is this available now? You know, this is this is ready for people to, to take into the, the industry globally. Sure, we sold some units of the crane. There are also two units delivered already in the last month and also we also deliver uh, more units uh, in December and also the whole next years. So folks, there we go, another electric solution, but the clever electric element to this is combining both the diesel option and the electric option, depending where you are on the job site, depending you know, if you're in a low emission zone, but also when you've got that power pack that now links straight to it and that provides the maximum power that this needs and the output, it really is a good combination, isn't it? Right. Fantastic. Great to see you. Nice to see you. It's an electric concrete mixer. Can you believe it, folks? Fully electric, front end and the mixer. God, got to find out a little bit more about this. So I'm going to talk to the expert right now. So here we're mixing up the electric capacity and capability at Lee Bear with Nico. Nico, this is an operating... It is. ...concrete. And you can't hear it. And you can't hear it, mixer. And so, folks, this is an electric concrete mixer, obviously towed by a diesel truck in this instance, but you can have an electric truck as well, can't and you? And actually, this is an electric the truck. The whole thing's an electric truck? Correct, correct. Wow! 100% electric. Well, Nico, that is a big surprise for me, you know, because when you're looking at electrification, you think a big thing like this, you know, electric, uh, a concrete mixer, one, it's heavy, Two, it's going to need a lot of electric uh, capability. But three, now we've got the quietness of the electric drive in the truck and right. of the mixer. Come on, let's walk around, folks, and talk about some of this new machine and why it's going to be a bit of a game changer on time. Let's follow us around to the mixy bit, folks. So the mixy bit over here. What are we talking about, Nico, then, where in, in, in relation to electric? Everybody wants to know the capacity. Everybody wants to know the shift. Can it do a full shift? And what applications would this all electric be a part of? So the perfect thing is you don't have to compare if it's electric or not. Okay. It's the same. So we have the same drum, the same drum size as you all know. Yep. So it's a nine cubic drum um, from the capacity you can see behind. So we have capacity of 10.5 in a total, so that's yep. the, the, the water line, and you don't have any differences. Just the same, walk in smoothly, and of course you can operate for a full day. Full shift, exactly. right. So, and what's really good about that is the fact that we're now talking about low emission zones. So we've just talked about a wheeled, you know, electric um, excavator, and therefore now we can talk about 
this delivering concrete to the job to fill in the, uh, the holes and, and the foundations that this has dug so we have an all electric ecosystem working here. How long would it take to charge something like this up and what are the charging options for this? What would you, you typically do? Uh, the charging options for this are coming from the truck. So we, from Leaper side, we don't have any batteries for the, the body. Okay. So we go directly to the traction battery from the truck and you um, need to uh, up to six hours. So just after your working day, you plug in yep. and recharge. And by the next morning, you're ready to start again. And of course, less moving parts with this because electric motors and things like that reduces that sort of impact of, you know, keeping these maintained as well, doesn't exactly. it? So, you know, how is that gonna, gonna change? Less maintenance, you don't have any hydraulics, so also no, no cause of, of any damage in the hydraulic system. Um, the maintenance, so the weekly and the daily maintenance are just gone. Yeah. Um, this is quite nice. And uh, for sure, do you have a better uh, efficiency? So the efficiency from the whole system is better compared to a hydraulic system. Yep. And this is also really nice. And so it's all using less energy. So this is making concrete more sustainable. We've talked to your colleagues about Concrete Connect. Mm -hmm. So, you know, having from the batching plant to the mixer, to the job site, to the pump, etc. And now we're talking about how we can have, add in extra sustainability, add in less carbon um, usage about the whole job site because we're mixing it up with electric and the concrete mixer behind us. Great to see you. Cheers. Thank you. Pleasure. And here we are, folks, on top of the electric batching plant. This completes my electric Lieber journey here in Germany. But one of the most important thing about this product here is they've put some clever technology and innovations into this plant so it stops the peaking of the loads when people are making concrete that flattens out the demand so that really does make a big impact on the overall cost of electricity and the overall running of this batching plant for the customers so this is my journey over with Liebherr finishes with the biggest stuff we've had all of the electric here today. We've had the cranes, we've had the concrete mixers, we've had the wheel loader and we've had the wheeled excavator and now it's time for me to recharge and so that you can see and find out more all about this on the rest of my channels as I go Lieber full electric. Goodbye folks, see you later.